to Stylish Naija YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to Stylish Naija YouTube channel. Thank you for your love, for your support. I really appreciate all of the love I do. I pretty, really, pretty do. I pretty, pretty, really do. Yeah, seriously, I appreciate all of the love and all of the support. Yeah, I actually don't take it for granted. Thank you so much. You guys, every one of you that subscribe to Stylish Naija YouTube channel, you rock. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to actually cut and sew a palazzo for beginners. So once I say beginner, so you are going to know that that video, I'm going to make it as much as possible. Easy and very simple for you to understand because beginners, you, they are just like babies, you understand? So they are very tender in the sewing business. So you need to go along with them gently. So that's what I'm going to do. So I have other videos of how to cut and sew palazzos on my channel but this i'm going to make it very detailed because i'm really naming it a beginner's friendly video so as a beginner after watching this video you will be able to cut and sew a palazzo yes i assure you okay so if you are new to my channel you are highly welcome if you are new to stylish Ninja youtube channel you are highly and very 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 welcome yeah you're welcome and if you have not subscribed please i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell on the side to get an update whenever i upload a new video so that bell once you hit on the bell once you hit the subscribe button and then you hit on the bell so once i upload a new video bam, you are going to be among you the, bam, the video so that's just like the, basically the essence of hitting on that bell Okay, so if you want to register for our online classes, so you can see my number scrolling through the screen, you can send me a message on WhatsApp, and then I'll give you the details of the classes that we actually have available right now. So we have about seven different classes. We have the padded Igbo Madame blouse class. We have a ready-to-wear class. We have a corset class. We have the beginner's class. We have an intermediate class. We have a trouser and a jumpsuit class. And then we have an advanced class. So these are the classes. Just send me a message. Okay, now let's get started. So the fabric that I'm going to be using, I'm making use of a chiffon. This is like a thick chiffon. You know, we have chiffon. We have different qualities of chiffon. Some are thick, some are not very thick. So this one is one of like the thick, the thicker chiffon. So that's what I'm going to be making use of. I'm using two and a half years of fabric. So that's what I'm going to do now. So let's just get started. Let me fold the fabric and then we we'll start inputting the measurement. We're not going to be making use of the pattern. So I'm just going to be handing it for those of you that are free handers okay so in cutting a palazzo these are the basic lines that you need so i'm going to explain them so since this is a beginner's video i'm going to try as much as i can to make it very simple and easy for you to understand i'm not going to watch the video so this is the first line so this first line is like a start line you understand this is like a guide if for instance you want to start yours from this top you can do that so this is like a guide so i didn't want this savage part so that is why i just ruled a line so this is going to be my startup line and then you are going to consider how many inches are you going to use for your band so mine i'm going to be making use of one and a half inches so because i'm going to make use of one and a half inches i'm going to take out that 1.5 inches or one and a half inches out from my original measurement okay so my measurement is going to start like this i'm just going to place my tape like this this is 1.5 like this and then the next measurement the next line so this is like my waistline measurement that's the first line and then this second line is my hip line just like in your skirt you can use nine inches you can use 10 inches for your hip line measurement so this is my hip line okay so because this is a high waist pants but that's high waist palazzo the crouch that i'm making use of i'm making use of crouch of 14 inches so why i'm making use of 14 inches is normally the measurement i'm using for the hip is 44 so when you divide 44 into 4 i have 11 inches that's for a normal crouch but because it is a high waist i'm starting it from my belly button part so i'm adding an extra of two inches to that so that is why i'm having 14 inches so this is my crouch line now which is 14 inches this is 10 for hip this is 14 inches for my crouch and then my knee line so for this knee line you are just going to measure from your waist to your knee so for my knee measurement i'm using about 23 inches that's my knee measurement and then the full length of my trouser of my palazzo i'm making use of 49 inches so this is the full length. So these are the basic lines. So I'm going to go over it again. 
the first line is my waistline, the second one is the hip line, note. And then this is the crouch line. So you have this distance because it is a high waist. Normally, if it was normal one, the line is going to be closer to the hip line. It's going to be up here. So this is a palace one. It is a high waist. And then I have my knee measurement and then the full length of my palazzo. So the next thing we are going to do, I'm going to come to this waist part. I'm going to measure 1.5, 2 inches. So this is 2 inches. I'm just going to come in by 2 inches. I just want to try and give the palazzo a shape. So from this point, I'm going to connect it like this. So I'm using freehand. I just started to make use of freehand for this. I'm just going to take it to the hip point line. And then the way for you to fold your fabric, I'm so sorry, I didn't mention that earlier. I'm going to use my, that's the lap measurement to fold my fabric. So the lap that I'm using for this is 13 inches. That's when you fold into two is 13 inches. And then I'm going to add about three inches to it. So normally I should have 16 inches, but because I don't want to make use of all of those points. So my fabric is just folded at 17 inches, which is okay. So that is that. So I'm going to bring this to this point, to the hip point. And then from this point, I'm still going to just take it like this to my crouch point. And then from the crouch point, I'll come to my knee line. So from the knee line, I'm just going to come in. Since this is a palazzo, the, this part is really not, it's really not um, really shapely like that. So I'm just going to come in by one inch. And then from this point, I'm just going to slope it into the one inch. You can use 1.5, it will still work. And then I'm going to come to the down part of my of my palazzo i'm going to measure the same one inch that i used on the knee line because it is a palazzo so from this point i'm just going to hold it straight like this so i hope you can see it so we already have the shape of our palazzo on that side so the next thing we're going to come, we're going to come in now back to the waist part. So we're going to take out our waist measurement. So the waist measurement that I'm making use of, I'm making use of 32 inches. So when you divide 32 inches for your waist into four, you're going to have eight inches. So you're going to, I'm coming like this. So I'm not measuring like this. I'm measuring backwards. So this is my eight inches here like this. Because I'm going to add... I'm going to add stitching allowance to this, so I'm going to add just one inch allowance on this part like this. So I'm just going to mark it like that. And then from this part, so I have, I already have my waist measurement, so I'm going to come to my hip measurement. So you know my hip, initially I used 44, which is 11 inches, so this is 11 inches here. Because I don't want this palazzo, I don't want it... It's a, that's 11 inches is my original measurement. So I'm going to add as much as 3 inches to my palazzo. I want it wide. I want it wide. So I'm going to add as much as 3 inches here. So from this point like this, I hope you can see it. I'm just trying so much. From this point like this, I'm just going to connect this. So I'm going to use my curve, but I just want you to see it. So that's my hip measurement. So I'm going to I'll come back now to my crouch line. So on this crouch line, I'm going to measure my lap measurement. That's the lap, how wide I want my palazzo to be. Okay. So I, and that one, you are going to divide it into two. So this one is 26. So you divide it into two, you are going to have about 13 inches. So this is 13 inches here. And then you remember I added three inches on this part. So I'm going to repeat that three inches on this on the lap part also so from this part it's going to come like this so because this fabric is chiffon is a little bit difficult to so i'm going to use my pattern curve now to curve out the crouch properly I hope you can see it. So the cuff is just like this, coming into the crouch area. So the next thing I'm going to come, we're going to go back to the down part of our palazzo. 
So on this down part, so I'm going to measure how wide I want the down part of my palazzo to be. You understand? So I can take my 13 inches that I have here and then bring it back to this part like this. So I'm going to add, I'm going to add allowance to read. So for me, in order for me to shape it properly, you can decide, in order for you to do this, you can decide to just come in. You understand? You can come in by one inch or two inches. Normally, on a normal day, you can come in like this, and then you mark to that point, you understand? And then from this point now, from this point, I'm going to take it, I'm going to come back to my knee line. So you know I came in by one inch. So I'm going to come in on this part also by one inch. So from this part to this part, I'm going to mark like this. Okay. So from here now, I'm going to do this. So from here, this comes here like this. And then it's, it, it comes here like this. And then it enters into the knee part. So you can see what I have. So I'm just trying, I hope you can see it. So that's, that's, that's how easy it is. So for the waist part, I'm going to trim it. So let me just show you how to trim that off for the front waistline. You can come down by just one inch like this, and then you slope it just the way you trim your skirt for the front waistline. Okay, so we're going to cut now. Okay, so we're done with the front part so you see how easy it is so as a beginner after this you will be able to cut a palazzo trouser okay so then i'm just so excited so most times when i make videos for beginners i tend to understand how they feel and the process they are in so i tend to try as much as possible to break it down very well okay so let's just continue the next thing now we're going to cut out the back Part of this trouser, this palazzo. So I'm going to fold my fabric again, and then we're going to place this. So you, if you notice the front, I'm not adding that to the front. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Is the back? I'm going to add the that to. Okay, so I've placed the front piece on the back piece. So this is the back. I folded into two also. So I'm going to do some little explanation. So I'm going to add some couple of inches to the back piece so like on this waist line part i'm going to add one inch or you could do half for somebody that is a normal size you can do half of an inch it works we have tried it and it works and then on the crouch part i'm going to add two inches you can for this part you can do 1.5 inches also or two inches since it is a palazzo two inches is okay and then the down part i'm going to add one inch so i'm going to show you now so this is the down part on this crouch. This is the crouch side. So I'm going to add one inch on this side like this. So you see the one inch. So I'm going to mark it like this. I'm just going to use it to open up this point a little bit. So that's just like an extra that is coming into it. The back piece. So I'm going to readjust my camera so you can see that part properly. And then on this side of the back, this side, I'm not adding anything. So I'm just going to follow the same measurement on this side. That's the hip side. I'm going to follow the same measurement upward. So, okay, so back now to the crouch part. So that's that one inch that I was measuring. So on the crouch part, like I told you, I'm going to add two inches. So this is the two inches. You are just going to mark it like this. And then this one that is coming like this is going to open up into it like this. You understand? So that one inch will open up into this. And then on this part, because you don't want to, because this part is going to be the same. That's the one I cut on this waistline part is going to be the same. So what I'm going to do on this hip line part, I'm just going to use my tape. 
I'm going to come out a little bit with about 1.5 inches. Just come out a little bit. This is just to give me, to serve as a guide. You understand? So you see, I'm curving it into this part. And then from this part, it comes like this. This fabric is so shaky. So I'll use 1.5. So, but here, it terminates here. So it's going to be the same. And then I'll just for me to get my crouch curve. And then once it gets to this crouch line, it goes into that one inch. So like this one inch that I use on this side, you can still use half of an inch. Because the this um, person, she's a little bit uh, on the bigger side. So that is why I'm using two inches on this part. If not, normally if I'm using this for someone that is 40, I'll do 1.5 and then on this side, I'll do half of an inch. It will still work perfectly well. And then for the front part, you remember this one inch that I'm going to trim out. I have not trimmed it. So that one inch, I'm going to bring it back to my back pattern like this. So from this part like this, I'm going to measure that one inch. So the one inch is just going to stay like this. And then I'm going to connect it to this point like this. And then I will slope it into the waist parts like this. And then this, remember this part that were coming, you know, it was the same. On the hip part is the same. So when you get to the waist part, you are going to add one inch to it on that part. Like I said, you can do half of an inch. It will still work. And then this is just to open up the back a little bit. This one inch, you are going to take it out back for the back that. So that is why it is there. We're going to take it out. When you take out the back, that is going to equal back. Okay. So I'm going to take this like this. Okay. So that is that. So I hope <laughs> as a beginner, once you watch this video. So we're going to cut out now. So I'm going to take. Okay. So this part I'm going to curve. So when it gets to the waist part, you find out that it is equal on this side. And then this comes like this. And then it opens up on this part, this waist part a little bit. And then comes into the hip part. Okay, so this is our palazzo. So for the back, I'm just going to take, I'm going to measure what I have here. In order for me to take my hip, so I'm going to measure five inches from the crouch part like this, and then I'm going to mark it, and then I'm going to add a notch on it. So that is where I'm going to sew that one inch. I'm going to take out half of an inch, half of inch to, to create my dart. So I'm going to mark it like that. So that's for my back dart. So in order how to stitch this line, it's a very simple way. So I'll take it to my machine and then I'm going to go and start stitching. So you are going to join front front and then you join back back so that is just like the easiest way to do this so I'll join them on the crouch part first so i'll take it like this and then i'll go and stitch this part so remember if you are adding a zipper to this skirt for to this trouser so mine i'm not going to be adding a zipper to it so if you are adding a zipper to it, what you are going to do, on depends on where you want to add your zipper. If you are adding it on the side, you are just going to add, for this back piece, you are going to add extra inches to the back piece that's on the side for your allowance. That's for your zipper allowance that's on this side. You can add one inch allowance so you can accommodate your zipper on the side. So if you want to add the zipper on the crouch line part, remember that this one, when we're cutting, it came to this to the front piece it came up straight so what you are going to do you are going to open up a little bit 
just add a little bit of inch to this top part to the waist part that's just it just add a little bit of like one inch extra and then you curve it in so i'll go and stitch this now i'll stitch on this crouch part and then the front piece also i'm going to stitch on the crouch part so i'll go ahead and do that and then bring it back and show you how to take out your measurement okay so i finished joining my trousers so my palazzo so i joined on the crouch just like i explained so i just joined on the crouch so for those of you that want to add a zipper you can use the allowance from your crouch those allowance you can add because that's the back so you can use it to add a zipper at the back or if you don't want that if it is the side just add like i explained earlier just add extra allowance on the side and then you can fix your zip on the side so now i'm going to show you how to measure this now so i'm just going to open it so the only part that i want fitting that's in tightness what i mean by fitting tightness is the waist the hip part i'm just going to use this same measurement that's the measurement that i measured i'm just going to use half of an quarter of an inch just to stitch them because it is a free trouser so what i'm going to do i'm going to come like this on the waist part because the waist has to be tight so i'm just going to mark like this so you divide your measurement into two and then mark like this so from this waist part like this what i'm going to do i'm just going to take it in like this to my hip so i'll use the quarter of an inch like this to stitch it down and then stitch this one down so i'll do the same thing so i'm just going to use this so this is the front piece so i'm going to so i've added the darts to the back so i'm going to take the front piece like this and then i'm going to stitch i'm going to go and stitch it i'll stitch the side but if you notice the center i've not stitched so i'll stitch the side first i'll do that and then bring it back and show you okay so i finished stitching the side of my palazzo so you can see the side my side seam so it is pretty okay so the next thing now i'm going to stitch the center so it is so stitching the center is a very simple process so i'm just going to turn it like this So this is my crouch so i'm just going to hold it like this and then i'm going to start i'm actually going to start stitching from the crouch i'm not going to start it start from the down part so from this part you can measure your crouch again to double check you understand to make sure that you have your the measurement of the crouch and then from there you're just going to take them like this you put the center together and then I'm going to start stitching from this point now. So I'm just going to stitch using quarter of an inch. I'll stitch this side. I'll stitch it to this end of the leg. That's the, the leg of my palazzo. I'll stitch it to the end. And then this other one. So you can see it's not equal. But you, when you are stitching them, it's not equal. So you pull it to meet the other one. You understand? And then you stitch it down. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then I'll bring it back and show you. Okay, so I finished joining my the left part, that's down part. So you can see how it is. So you just stitch it down, just like I explained. So my palazzo is looking beautiful. So I'm almost done. So the only thing that is remaining now is just for me to pipe the waist. So you know initially when I was measuring, I, I left out 1.5 inches. So is that 1.5 inches? That's just what I'm going to cut out. So this is not like a regular band. It's just like a piping. So I'm just going to cut out one and a half inches of fabric. My waistline measurement. And then I'll just use it to turn the, the waistline. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'll just go ahead. I'll cut it. And then I'll pipe it just the way you do your normal regular piping. So you can decide to add an elastic also to this kind of 
palazzo trousers so it it makes it is easier you can add an elastic waist also so i'll just do that finish it up and then i'll place it on the mannequin for you to see so the piping is just like literally uh, turning the the waistline with another fabric okay okay so at the end of the day so you can see how our palazzo trousers is looking like so it came out very beautiful well so you can see the waist though it is a high waist but because it is a mannequin i actually could not obtain it up from the actual owner this, the palazzo is going to be pulled up to on top of our belly button so it came out very fine so you could see the weight that i use it is very beautiful so thank you so much for this video so thank you so much for watching you can share this video with your friends if you have not subscribed subscribe you can drop a comment for me a question any question comment on the comment section so thank you so much and then hit on the like button thank you so much I'll see you